Theorem 5.12 is the triangle inequality theorem. And before we fill in these blanks, I want to look at this triangle. We have triangle ABC. <clears throat> and let's say that sides AB and BC are fixed. So we know how we have one side with length of 8 and another side with a length of 5. We want to figure out what could this third side possibly be. Well, we see that we could make this triangle small and smaller and smaller, and that this third side can never be less than 3. Otherwise, the two sides wouldn't connect, and also can't be 3 exactly, or else we just get a straight line, because that means that AC plus CB, 3 plus 5, will be 8, and that's the, exactly the length of the third side. So this third side, AC, must be greater than 3. Similarly, if we were to swing C out and to make AC as large as possible, we see that AC can't be greater than 13. Again, we would have the same problem. If AC is greater than 13, then we wouldn't be able to connect our other two sides at point B. And it also can't be 13, otherwise we get a straight line. So AC has to be greater than 3 and less than 13. This brings us to theorem 512 that tells us that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the length of the third side. Going back to our triangle, this means that 8 plus 5 has to be greater than the length of AC. So AC can't be 13 or else we get a straight line. 8 and 5 can't equal 13, and they can't be less than, or else we wouldn't be able to connect our sides. Similarly, AC plus CB has to be greater than 8, meaning that AC has to be greater than 3. Let's look at some examples. Example 1, if a triangle has side lengths of 5 inches and 12 inches, what are the possible lengths of the third side? Go ahead, try to figure this one out for yourself first. When you're ready, Go ahead, resume the videos and see the solution. Okay, we have a triangle that has lengths of 12 and 5. So this third side must be greater than 7. Because 12 minus 5 equals 7. Or If we were to make the big triangle, this third side would have to be less than 17, because 12 plus 5 equals 17. So our third side, we'll name that side AC, AC must be greater than 7 and less than 17. If you want the algorithmic formula way, basically the two sides you are given, find the difference, that's our low number, add them together, that's our high number. The third side has to be somewhere in between those two numbers. And here's your homework problem. This is a multiple choice problem similar to what you might see on a standardized test. And it asks which group of side lengths can be used to construct a triangle, meaning you need to choose all that apply. Take a moment, work this through, do it on your own. We'll talk about it first thing in class tomorrow. Okay, for those of you who continue to watch the video, here's the solution. Actually, you know what? I will present the solution in the next video.